Hi, welcome to the video about my number combos. I received and I'm still receiving many emails asking me to give you my favorite combos. And believe it or not, that is the biggest reason why I was and I'm still kind of a reluctant to put these videos out. It seems like some players are waiting for the magic numbers and as soon as they get them, they will start betting on them without knowing when and why. And that, as we all know, will lead to only one thing, losing the money. That's why I'm so hesitant, because my only intentions are to help you win. I just hate seeing anyone lose their money to the online casinos, because it happens so often and it's so heartbreaking. So in this video, let's look at these combos and what is it about? Okay, number combos. Let's be clear, I am not trying to invent anything. Number combos have been played ever since roulette existed. There is many types and many ways how to pair the numbers how to set the combos, how to come up with them. Some players connect them through the wheel layout, through diagonals. Some connect them through specific angle or degree on the wheel. Some come up with the combos mathematically. Some use 369 Tesla's method. There's many ways, but I have and use my own way of finding the best mates which I will share with you in this video. There are many classic combos you probably already know and you already play them, like 13, 31, 21, 12, 17, 20, 18, 36. But the question is, when and why are you going to play them? Every time you see 13, are you going to load up a lots of money on 31? Yeah, you can. But will it hit every time? Of course not. So let me show you how I come up with my combos, when and why I play them. It's simple. I keep number history of all my sessions. I study the numbers and their most frequent mates. I have a folder for every week. These are sessions I played just this past week. First, I work with expectation. Expectation rather than probability. Expectation is much simpler to calculate and it gives much better understanding of how rare certain event is and what to expect. Expectation tells me a frequency of an event. Probability is much more complex to calculate and does not offer very useful information on complex system. It just shows me uncertainty of the event. Uncertainty is inherent to the roulette wheel anyway. That is why in roulette no event can have 100% probability. So I work with expectation. For example, one of my favorite combos is 6, 26. But my combos are not paired only with one mate. My combo, like I said, is 6, 26, but it's also 6, 8. And then it goes the opposite way. 26, 6, 8, 6. When I go from 8, the 8 attracts 6, 2, 4, and 28. 26 attracts 6, 8, 10. 26 attracts 
three. Six pairs with six. So as you can see, there is not only 626, but there is few of these numbers would like to pair, and I expect them to be paired. When I go through my notes and through my history, I see this happening over and over and over again. Six pairs with 26, six pairs with 10, six pairs with eight, 26 pairs with 10, 26 pairs with three, 26 pairs with six. This is what's happening in all these sessions. And that's why I bet on these combos. That's why I put more money on these combos. But not every time. Just in a minute, I will show you when I put more money on these combos and when I don't play them. You know, when I, when I play and when I record all my numbers, there are combos that I don't see ever. You know, I've never seen after six to have 14. After 26 to have seven. It's very rare. I don't expect, there is no expectation for these numbers. So I don't play them. I don't play them with these numbers and with these combos. And that's why I don't have combos with all numbers. I have combos with just few, and that's when I use them, and that's when I play them. Now, let's look at these examples of my play. These were the sessions I played just the other week. As you can see, I had successful hits on this particular combo. But there were also many spins when 26 or 3 did not follow 6 where this combo just did not work. I have specific way of determining when I want to bet on my combos, when I want to play them. I play them when there is more factors aligned. I look for the number to be in hard numbers or in trending sector or in trending dozen. For example, if tiers are trending and are above 54 or 55% in the statistics and the zero sector is dead, I'm more inclined to bet combo 68 or 610 instead of 626. I also very much take in consideration my go back strategy. If the combo fits into it, I expect it to more and I'm more inclined to bet that certain combo. One of my most important rules is to always bet neighbors with the combo numbers or favorite numbers. I see it so often in the live chat when I play. The players are crushed by the ball landing right next to their number because they play several numbers, but without neighbors. And that's the biggest mistake. Because if you play neighbors with your combos, it will raise the chances for success dramatically. Now, these are little examples how I play the combos, what I take in consideration. But honestly, I could talk about this for hours. And I know it's tough to cram everything into one little video. So... If you didn't do it yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you did, ring the notification bell. And in my follow-up video, I will concentrate a little more on when and why I play my combos. And also, I will reveal another favorite of mine. 35 and... So I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a little start into the series. We're going to take it slowly and hopefully we'll get to the point where you will understand why I choose my combos, when I play them and why I play them. I will see you on the next one.